The Hunter's Purse uh, is a reel um, that uh, I first heard on a recording made by Paddy Killorn, great fiddle player from County Sligo, one of these guys who uh, moved over to New York and made some records, great records. Um, so the Hunter's Purse was a tune I learned there, but I didn't know many people who played it. Uh, it was uh, not what you call a favourite in the sessions, but you know, lots of people would know it, and sometimes I'd get to play it. But I kind of put it on the shelf for a while, and when I was playing with the Buffy Band, um, Piper and flute player uh, Peter Brown was playing with us uh, at the time. And uh, one night after a concert, we were standing at the bar and um, uh, Peter pulled out his flute and he played the Hunter's Purse. And I said, oh, that's great. I love the way you play that. Um, I'm making a record. Um, would you play that on the record? And he said uh, he would. But then he said, uh, but I can play it on the pipes too, you know. And I said, yeah, but I loved the way you played it there on the flute. And he said, uh, well, I think I can make a better job of it on the pipes. So um, I said, OK, we'll give it a shot. And uh, a few days later, he came into the studio and uh, we recorded it with the flute and with the pipes. And he was dead right. His pipe version was really fantastic. And it's still one of my favourite moments on that record which was called If the Cap Fits when the when the pipes come in with this tune I still get a bit of a thrill out of it so we'll go through it in a fairly simple way first of all and then we'll have a um, more advanced version but to start off I would normally play E and two A's That would be the opening phrase. Um, but if I'm playing it um, at speed um, and not trying to give a, a demonstration of uh, how to play the tune in a simple manner, I would uh, take out the B, uh, that B there, and make a long A and then give the A some kind of treatment maybe a triplet or maybe a roll and again it's the open string roll which is a little bit different from the other rolls and uh, so this is a tune that I think uh, definitely benefits from uh, being played at a, a fair pace. I play. Te I tend to play it quite briskly, and I like the A and E, or the open strings, uh, ringing on um, throughout the tune. It makes it sound a bit wild, a little bit out of control. And I tend to play it in a little bit, uh, a little bit more jumpy than a lot of tunes I play. Uh, double stops there. 